In this video, I'll show you how we can create one custom alert dialog in Android. So I'm gonna use code in here. So basically, this is the project, and we have one file. It's called my dialog dialog, and this file will be responsible for showing one dialog. And from the main activity, we will call the dialog to start it. So this method is so alert method is called once uh, the user will click on the button in this activity so this is the button that the user can click and it will call this method so alert for custom dialog first thing we need to do we need to create one xml file so let me create one right click new layout resource file you can give any name for the file let's say its name is dialog main and uh, we need to style this file that means this file will be shown as a dialog so for that the first thing let me add one image here so here i can search for image view Okay, I'm adding it at the top. So we can choose from our drivers. So already I have created one drivers here. So I'm gonna choose this for this image. Okay. okay. Let me change the size a little bit. Yeah. And this is a constraint layout. So we will have to use the constraints. So I'm gonna add some text here. Suppose the first one is an email the second one is a password the third one is also a password okay let me add one more suppose it is phone we can also give one hint text here so for that this is the hint text suppose it is enter your email this one is for phone enter your phone pause the third one is for password enter your password and the fourth one is also for password re and let's make it as enter your password again okay first i'm gonna put everything in a chain chain i'm gonna create one vertical chain and the second thing for the vertical chain i'm gonna uh, place them in a packed style so like all these are uh, placed in the center of this layout so for the first one let me add constraints for the left and for the right and let me add some paddings suppose it is 10 and this one is also 10 the layout width let me make it a 0 dp so it will match constraint okay let me change it to suppose 20 and this one is also 20 For the second one, let me align it to left and right, as same as the first one. Then this width is zero, and I can give one fading to the top. Similarly, for the third one, I can give to the left and right width. Uh, it is aligned top zero degree, and for the last one, same. This is 0 dp and one padding 20 dp for the top. For the image, let me align it to this email text box. Okay, for the width, currently it is taking to some dp. Let me make it a 0 dp for both. 
okay we can give weight percent so in the layer constraint so let me minimize this one okay this percent suppose it is 0.3 we can also change the height for that we need to use this ratio constraint dimension ratio let me change it to one is to one so the width is same as the height okay it's done okay so we can use this layout in our dialog okay let's move to this dialog file the first thing i'm gonna create one it's as this file is class so it is my dialog and we are extending it from dialog fragment we need to avoid one method it's called on create dialog this method returns on dialog so here i'm gonna first check if we have the activity context or not if we have then we will return one dialog and if we don't have then we'll throw one illegal ex uh, state exception suppose it is activity is null this exception will throw this message so if we have the activity context then we can create one builder so for dialog we need to first create one builder so it's alert dialog dot builder so we can pass the context so in this builder we can assign like different types of properties so we are showing the dialog from the view yeah, sorry from the view so for that we can use this require activity dot we need to inflate the layout so we need to use this inflate layout inflator dot inflate and here i can pass the layout r dot layout dot dialog main root is null so it will set the view for this dialog and also we can give one button as positive button we can also give one negative button and also one neutral button so suppose it's the name is submit so it will give one callback so it is dialog interface dot on click listener so we'll get the dialog and id here and finally we can return this create yeah so once this submit will be clicked it will call inside this uh, on click listener so from the main activity we can initialize it like this so we need to pass the support head fragment manager and we can give one tag to the dialog so let me start the app now the app is started now if i click on this button then you can see that it is showing this dialog so we can also give one padding for the stop and bottom so let me add some margins here for that we need to go here and let me so this split Here we can give one margin for the top and similarly for um, the bottom now if i restart the app now it looks better so this is a quick tutorial on how you can create your own custom dialog so if you love this video please like it and please subscribe to my channel also if you have any questions please drop one comment below thanks bye